All right, some news coming in. Sunita Williams finally earthbound. That's the big story at this hour. Undocking has been completed. Sunita heads home. SpaceX flashed down expected at 3.27 a.m. IST, which is the wee hours of the morning tomorrow. Sunita and Butch to return after nine long months. Nick Hague, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams and also Ross Cosmos, cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov will be returning to Earth after nine months. They are finally Earthbound. They are unlocked and docked rather from the International Space Station and have begun their journey home is what we know. Shibu, Shibu in fact is getting in more details on that story. We are going to go straight across to India today's Senior Assistant Editor of Science. Okay, in a moment from now, but NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have successfully undocked from the International Space Station and have begun their journey home is what we know. NASA astronauts who have been stuck at the ISS for more than nine months are now prepping for a splashdown off the coast of Florida is what we know. NASA has already started the live broadcast as speaks as Crew 9's return to Earth from the International Space Station. Starting with the preparation to close the Dragon spacecraft hatch tomorrow at 3.27 Indian Standard Time is when a touchdown is finally expected. Sunita Williams and Wilmore undock from ISS and begin the journey home. That's the big story at this hour. The Dragon spacecraft with crew nine members has successfully undocked from the International Space Station. Nick Hig, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams and Roscosmos Al cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov are finally Earth bound after nine long months. Tracking that big story, in fact, is my colleague Shibu getting in more details at this point in time. Just so much, in fact, Shibu to look forward to. So much uncertainty as well, but the big moment is almost finally here at 3.27 Indian Standard Time. 3.27 a.m. Indian Standard Time is when we will be seeing them after nine months on Earth. Uh, definitely. Finally, Sunita Williams and astronaut Butch Wilmore have departed the space station. Uh, this has been long, uh, a long mission. They have been in space for about nine months now. Uh, what initially started as an eight-day mission has extended for nine months, close to 286 days in space now. And finally, they are on the uh, homecoming approach. Uh, the four astronauts, part of Crew 9, uh, have departed the space station. They are now on a 17-hour long flight to return home. Uh, sometime around 3.20 uh, tomorrow morning, that will be Wednesday, March 19th for us in India, they'll splash down off the coast of, uh, coast of uh, Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. So definitely a long mission ahead. Absolutely. You know, just tell Rock to us about uh, what can one expect in the next few days Given the kind of difficulties that they've also faced, uh, you know, this is a very, very difficult mission, a long one. Next few days are going to be difficult and very different for Sunita William and Butch uh, Wilmore, isn't it? Uh, definitely. Uh, mm. Once they land uh, off the coast of Florida tomorrow morning, a recovery ship from SpaceX and NASA will be there with health officials who will take care of, who will look after uh, what kind of health uh, conditions they are in. Post that, they'll be brought to Houston where they'll go through multiple health checkups and the recovery will take weeks uh, to an extent even months since this was an unplanned mission. Uh, but what's good is that both the, both the astronauts are veteran spaceflight astronauts. They've been to space multiple times. Uh, both of them are fighter jet pilots. Pilots, uh, helicopter pilots, so they know the rigors of uh, what it takes to uh, uh, be in these conditions. Uh, rehabilitation will take a few months to a few weeks. Uh, Sunita Williams, during one of the press conferences from Space Station, even went on to say that lifting a pencil would be like a, a, a full workout. So we're looking forward to how they'll rehabilitate. Uh, what's good news is that NASA will have more data and more information about the long, uh, what the health impacts are of long duration space travel. So these are good things to uh, look at. Look at. You know, also talk to us about this mission, the nine-month-long long mission, and what was the big takeaway from this mission for NASA, essentially? 
Uh, the biggest takeaway is that NASA is now preparing for the Artemis moon missions, uh, which will be long duration space travel, long missions to build a colony and live on moon and then to further push on to Mars. So this nine months of space travel will definitely bring in new data, new information on what are the impacts of long duration space travel on the human body, which will basically prepare the Artemis mission. When it comes to India, India is a signatory of the Artemis mission and the Gaganyaan mission is will launch a, next year or by, by the end of next year. So it will bring us more information and even we will get to know about the effect of long duration space travel on the human body and prepare well in advance. 17 hours or so and then they have the touchdown. I'm just going to also just ask you Shibu if you could give us an idea about how this touchdown is going to be in Florida. Uh, so the spacecraft, Dragon spacecraft, has now departed the space station. It, it will be on a long 17-hour journey. At the moment, the spacecraft is being moved away from the space station. Uh, the Draco thrusters, the, the engines on the spacecraft will fire up and increase the distance between the, uh, between the space station and itself. Uh, after some time, the engines will be fired again to basically reorient the spacecraft towards Earth. And that's when the descent burn will happen. And then the spacecraft will begin its return journey. This will be followed by a re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, we know that re-entry is one of the most challenging uh, endeavors in space travel. During this time, a uh, huge plasma will build up from friction and uh, the gravitational pull of the planet. Uh, this will even lead to communication blackout for a few minutes. Once that communication blackout ends, we'll know the condition of the astronauts, the health of the astronauts and the health of the vehicle itself. This will be followed by the initial drogue shoots deployment. Uh, two mini shoots will deploy from the Dragon spacecraft to basically slow it down. We need to understand that at, when the descent begins, the spacecraft will be traveling at thousands of kilometers per hour speed. So this will have to be slowed down for a smooth uh, splashdown into the water. Uh, once the four uh, initial drogue shoots move away, the two big drogues will, uh, big drogue parachutes will deploy, and these will be initially slow it down to an extremely slow speed from thousands of kilometers to just about two meters per second. Uh, uh, before the splashdown. Uh, at around 3.27 a.m. is what SpaceX has said that this splashdown, uh, splashdown will finally happen. This will be March 19th for us. Right, I'm going to thank you, Shibu, getting in those details and important development. The entire world is just so looking forward to thanking you for the moment. The touchdown at 3.27 a.m. Indian Standard Time tomorrow after nine long months.